Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the better channel, which is the build 22635.4000 for version 23H2. In this build, we have a few new interesting improvements and changes, so we're going to talk about those, and also we're going to cover the fixes and the known issues in this build. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, Microsoft is officially announced announcing the new jump list on hover for certain apps that have jump lists for example the file explorer if i hover over it you're going to see this new jump list that opens only on hover of course this can be opened with right click but also on hover i think this is pretty interesting and this feature can also be personalized by right clicking on the taskbar then taskbar settings and you're going to have here on taskbar behaviors at the bottom show hover cards for inactive and pinned taskbar apps you can enable or disable this and you should be able to see the jump lists without having to right click on an inactive app and only by just hovering over it. I think this is a cool little feature that Microsoft is testing out. Also, if you go to taskbar settings and then go to date and time, you're going to notice that if you expand show time and date in the system tray, Microsoft moved the show seconds in the system tray clock uses more power from the taskbar settings section to this date and time section. I think this is a pretty good change. Related to voice access, Microsoft is making improvements for the spelling and corrections experience in voice access. You will now be able to use the experience for the entirety of the voice voice access section. Session. The spelling experience will now enable you to dictate the characters at a faster speed and offer more editing flexibility inside the experience with dictation commands, namely selection, deletion, and text navigation commands. So in this build, there are some news related to widgets and Microsoft is starting to use the Microsoft Start Experiences app to power the Microsoft Start widget and feed experiences. And also you're going to see some screenshots from Phantom Ocean 3 that shows that the widgets board will very soon use WinUI 3. And on these screenshots, you can see see that of course it is looking very good and better and this is only available to the better channel unfortunately I don't have this yet on this machine but maybe I'm gonna make a different video in which I'll show you how to manually enable this and I think this is pretty interesting related to the file explorer Microsoft fixed some issues causing the radar to not work as expected when navigating through the recent favorites and shared tab items for insiders with the recent updates to home and file explorer and they also fixed an issue causing the context menu in home or gallery to open in the wrong position when using Arabic or Hebrew display text we also have a few fixes in this build, for example, some general fixes, fix an underlying issue causing the notification center to get stuck, not open sometimes for some insiders with the latest builds. This is also believed to be the underlying cause of some insiders finding that the add a device dialog doesn't appear when trying to add Bluetooth devices and settings. And also related to input, Microsoft is rolling out the fix for an issue impacting the ability to launch the touch keyboard, Moji panel, and IME candidate window reliably due to an underlying crash. And some known issues that we have in this build, Microsoft is of course trying to figure out some of the issues that can cause an increase in explorer.exe crashes for some insiders in the latest builds for the better channel. So as a quick reminder in the better channel, don't forget that if you want to get all the latest features earlier than others, just go into the settings app and whenever searching for an update in Windows update, make sure you have get the latest updates as soon as they're available, enabled, and then click on check for updates and you should be good to go. So this was basically the latest build for the better channel, 22635.4000. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future alphas like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.